Good afternoon from Bellevue, Nebraska. I'm Sharif Shack. The LSU Tigers with one last practice before tomorrow's game against TCU. And the Tigers shifted everything 20 miles south of Omaha to Bellevue East High School, the same place where they practiced in 2013 and 2009. Of course, the last time they won a national championship. The Tigers have practiced over 100 times leading up to the season and throughout the season. So, guess what? Don't expect Paul Maneri and the Tigers to change their approach for the College World Series. We expect a lot out of our guys to do things right all the time. That doesn't mean they're going to play perfect, but they have to have the desire to do things right all the time so that when we get to where we are today in Omaha, preparing to play in, a, in a, the College World Series and hope to win a national championship, they don't have to try any harder. They don't have to be more nervous. They don't have to think that this is all out of the ordinary. A lot of us have been here before. You know, A lot of the guys are feeding off, feeding off of us because of that. And it's a, we're just ready to get going a little bit, but you know we're staying relaxed. We're very anxious to get going, but uh, I feel like it's a good anxiety, not a like a nervous. There's there's no nervous with this team. I feel like everyone's relaxed, very confident, and uh, we're ready to play. But we know that we're not going to rush it. And we're, we're not going to be uh, dead when we come out. As you can hear, the entire team is anxious to get out there and actually play a game. The same goes for LSU pitcher Alex Lang, but the national freshman pitcher of the year will have to wait until Tuesday to take the mound. However, that won't stop him from cheering on Jared Poche. I've been confident in him all year. I've learned a lot from uh, what Poche has been able to do all year. He's, uh, you know, it's kind of like my older brother, uh, you know, pitching with him since we've been, you know, 16 and 17, just, you know, playing with him. So I've got all the confidence he's going to go out there and give us a really good chance to win the ball game. Obviously, I, I want to get out there. I want to play, but I got to wait. And uh, that's something I've gotten used to is when, whenever we go travel or some team comes, uh, it's just kind of setting the uh, anxiety off a little bit and not. And got, not getting too pumped up for the first game because I got to save that. While Lang was National Freshman Pitcher of the Year, Paul Maneri just scooped up National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association Coach of the Year, making it the first time he wins this award. When you're the head coach, you know you get a certain amount of attention, and I know it comes with the job. But really, it's a little bit embarrassing to me because that kind of an award is not an award that should be given to just the head coach. It's it's an award that is earned by the entire staff. In fact, those guys are the unsung heroes, so I accept the award really on behalf of the entire staff. But nothing would have been possible, of course, if the players hadn't gone out there and just played terrific all year. He deserves it. Uh, he did a great job this year. He does a great job every year. and. Uh, he also does a great job of developing players. Um, guys have gotten so much better since we've entered uh, his system here at LSU, and um, I'm proud of him, and he deserves it. And Maneri is no stranger to winning Coach of the Year. This is actually the third time he's won a Coach of the Year award while at LSU. He actually won another one, and that was when he was with Notre Dame. On your side from Bellevue, Sharif Ishak, WDSU News.